all right guys for kage hero and welcome back to the brand new video here we are solo leveling arise will be the topic again so check out my previous video by the way it's about the new ssr and the crazy uh, pre-registration uh, on global bro in only seven days go check it out anyways on today's video how to level up or how to get exp and how to get gold okay this will be the guide of today's video especially for the free to play players i will show you all the way how you can get exp to level up and all the ways to get gold now disclaimer immediately for the free to plays it will be extremely painful to grind gold and have enough gold so i will on today's video give you furthermore tips how you can save up as much as possible gold now immediately i can say right now the gold gold is the biggest problem in the game especially for the free to place huge problem so hopefully they're gonna just like buff it you they need to buff those bro please please buff gold okay gold prices that we're getting etc okay or lower the amount of gold needed to level up weapons artifacts i cannot even remember like for uh, for a lot of things you're using gold especially yeah to level up the hunters to level up the weapons a lot of those you're gonna use uh for this type of stuff so you need to be careful and prioritize your only main weapons and main characters for now that is the big tip that i can give, give you from the get-go related to the free to place but yeah the gold is the biggest problem in the game and the biggest problem for the free to place okay let we start so first of all uh let me talk about the obvious uh, things okay so here it is activity fund this is like idle idle part where automatically uh, you will grind exp gold and other materials right here that you can see right now now free to place will be in a big disadvantage here okay um for example i'm paid to win on this account lower spending right obtain an additional 30 percent activity funds gold and exp so i'm getting overall by idling 30 percent more gold and exp overall than any free-to-play player in the game so the free-to-play the progress related to the exp and gold will be slowed down in the comparison of pay to win players i mean this is nothing new but but okay this is pretty much uh, over time you're gonna gather those materials you're gonna click claim and as well you will have this ability of special funds if i'm not mistaken i, I believe free to play has this as well yeah for sure um okay and then uh, after every 24 hours i believe you, yeah yeah you can collect one special funds which will give you pretty good amount of exp and gold overall so this is like idle part and this is how you get your exp and the coins okay now uh the most Im should i do the gates now yeah let's do the gates now uh where where where, where what am i blind here i need to go okay sometimes i just forget where it is <laughs> sorry clumsy me as always so gates okay gates is also the way how you can get your exps and the coins okay here for example you have different difficulties right you can like rescan it for i'll rescan it it doesn't really matter and here you can even increase the difficulty of the stages when you increase the difficulty of the stages they they will be harder but at the same time you will get more exp okay so for example you can see experience this is how much you're getting you're not getting crazy amount of e experience from the gates okay you're not getting the crazy amount of experience for gates but at the same time you should do them constantly and always i mean always try to have zero out of 12 unless you're saving those for like gate event that we already have in the game also you can see experience and gold so on each of those stages you will get experience gold experience gold and when you finish for example three here you will get another batch of prizes so when i do let me use sweep okay i'll just use don't do that by the way but i i, I will use sweeping just so i show you the example okay but it, it's a waste don't do this for free to play please don't do this i'm, I'm just doing this to showcase this uh really 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 fast okay as you can see we got some experience uh we got some coins and at the same time when i finish now one more when i finish one more for example 
you will see what will happen okay so now when i finished come on loading i hate it uh, so here it is now when i finish three of those i unlock another batch of coins so when i finish now four for example red, red gate again will give me experience gold when i finish this and this and this and this which is four i will unlock also these coins now every day uh when there is a reset the first stream uh, the first missions you're gonna do you will get exp from this so doing gates is super important to maximize the amount of coins and the exp at least from from uh, you'll get exp plenty of exp here from the first missions you're gonna do every day later on it's coins okay but again this is a pretty solid way to get those coins and exp now gate mining it's right here boom this is also let me say passive income of uh, like if i say complete instantly you will see i got uh coins again this is a really really good Okay, okay way to get coins and definitely it's gonna stack up now also related to the gates every gate gate mining every mining of gates will give you certain different rewards okay but definitely you will get coins from that as well now in the shop there is also here it is so for example here you can buy coins as well gold so by getting this material a coin crafted after receiving a certifi uh, certificate from the Hunters Association. You can use it to purchase the an, at the exchange shop. Okay, the coins issued by the Hunter Association this year commemorate the DB. Blah, blah, blah. We expect that you'll be able to form an uh, even better strike squad. Okay. Anyways, um, so after receiving a certificate from the Hunter Association, you will get those materials, and at the same time, you will be able to buy some coins from here over time. Uh, I bought already this 10k. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Why I didn't buy this? So that's a mistake here. I didn't notice that this as well. This is a must buy if you can if you can get it, especially for the free to play. 300k coins just from here. It's a big deal. So let me just double check a few more things. Maybe there is more, more coins in the shop and I didn't notice. Here it is, more coins, okay? So I don't know how much, yeah, 20k. So here as well in the Battlefield of Time exchange, I will show you that game mode maybe today. I will also show you on today's video because there you're gonna get more coins, etc. So again, really nice way to get gold is from this shop. Just by playing the game, acquiring the characters, leveling them up and everything else, you will acquire all of those materials and then you're gonna be able to exchange them for the coins. At the end of the day, you will, as a free to play for this type of stuff you can decide would you go for the limited tickets or black tickets like limited tickets are really really important as well here so you're gonna have to decide coins or limited tickets you know that, 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 that that's the big question here but definitely they created those gold to stop you from progressing especially as a free-to-play or to even force you to buy something in a way to 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 how to inspire you right they want to inspire you that you buy stuff here it is uh, also the mining team effects you can see uh, on each level you have different stuff and what are you getting uh, as well as you can see the higher the level more gold you will get overall and other things so definitely over time the the fk gathering of coins will increase not drastically but will definitely increase okay uh, since we're now talking for the coins uh exp related to the story i will leave it for the end so um instant dungeon by doing those by doing instant dungeons by doing in core missions you are getting artifacts right so if i go here you're getting artifacts and with the artifacts uh, yeah here you, you can get artifacts and then you can just click this and for example you can sell let we say i don't know you can sell the like the lowest rarity artifacts you're not using for example i'm not using those artifacts let we say okay so i sell those and then i can get some coins as well here so this is a good way to do it I am not sure are we getting coins 
in the codex as well i cannot remember maybe for the artifacts i'm not sure uh, no no i believe no we're not getting coins here maybe sometimes from something but not 100% sure. Okay, uh, more ways to get coins is the Battlefield of Time. Now, I still I unlocked it yesterday. I still didn't try it yet. Uh, but definitely this, if, if I remember from yesterday, when I was double-checking stuff. Uh, here you can see those rewards. Then you have like overall ranking rewards. You have here coins as well. But you need to be at least top 30 to get something. And of course, achievement rewards. So defeat the boss within 10 minutes, uh, then defeat the boss within 8 minutes and 30 seconds, coins, coins, coins. So another really good way to get more coins. But you, as a free to play, you will have to manage them carefully. So level up only the weapons you need. Mostly focus on leveling the weapons from Jinho. Okay, super important. Also level up the characters like three, four, maybe that's it for the free to play for now. Stop there. Mainly focus on the characters you're gonna mostly, mostly use. Okay, I believe that's that part. Uh, Hunter Archive. Uh, yeah, Battlefield of Trials also is one of the ways where you can get coins on certain stages. I, I could do this now, but I'm, I'm focusing on other stuff. But this is like super important, guys. Battlefield of Trials will give you pretty decent amount of coins, okay? Not every stage, unfortunately, but you can see that every five, six stages, we are getting plenty of coins here. Over time, you're going to be able to do it. But of course, as a free-to-play, you will have slower progress overall. Although there are free-to-plays that are even... Um, like i spent like 200 dollars they're free to place who are already for example level 40. so it is definitely doable but you need the proper reroll and of course proper skill um and then uh, and the managing M managing of coins is essential and then we have here hunter part as well i didn't do that yet uh but i'll do it again coins plenty of coins right here this is also one of the best ways to get coins okay this is about the coins pretty much what everything you should be doing and how to acquire them again it is a big problem for the free to play but like i said you use plenty of those coins to for example level up the hunters to enhance the skill of the hunters to level up the weapons like all of this will acquire coins 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 so you need to be super careful okay and it will really stack up over time especially when you level up the weapons you will all use a lot of gold so be careful and now at the end i just want to say the best way to increase the exp for you is playing story okay so pretty much play the story uh, when you reach chapter 7, if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna unlock the hard mode. So this will be the key thing to do, okay? This is the key thing, the key thing. So try to get this to the chapter 7 as soon as possible. Of course, there will be, for example, here in the heart, that's a good example that I can show you. After some time, you'll be stuck in this. Available when Sang Jinho reaches level 40. So you will use the combination of normal story and the hard story. Hard story will give you the craziest amount of EXP. Have that in mind, okay? But when you're stuck, for example, on level 40, then you go back here. You do, again, the normal story. If you're stuck already here, for example... You're stuck here because it says you need to be level, I don't know, 28. You will just have to wait, do the gates. Um, not worth using the essence for the gates, by the way, like I already said. Do the activity funds, and when you reach the level, then you're going to be able to play it. But I'm telling you, when you reach chapter 7 and when the hard mode is unlocked, okay, and you beat chapter 8, getting EXP won't be that big of the deal of uh, when you reach um, until chapter 6 because then you will have to wait for level 40 and then you can go continue you can continue on the normal story that's literally the loop so you're going to go between the normal and hard both of this will give you the craziest amount of exp especially hard mode okay guys uh, that's it from today's video hopefully i covered everything again that is the truth 
that the coins especially for the free to place will be a problem definitely doable but you need to manage them super carefully and you cannot use them casually not at all okay that's that love ya. hopefully on the global launch they will increase the amount of gold coins we can get love ya, guys and bye